Well, the FBI is now investigating three local doctors who are accused of leaving operating rooms during high stake heart surgeries, leaving unqualified residents at the helm. I know we were all shocked to yeah. hear about this from the FBI. Well, Baylor St. Luke's Medical Center, Baylor College of Medicine and Surgical Associates of Texas are paying more than $15 million and joining us now to find out more information and discuss this case is health care attorney Keith Lefkowitz. Thank you so much for being here this evening. So when you hear about a case like this, have you heard anything like this before? This has happened before, yes. And were you surprised about it? It is surprising. Uh, this involves uh, some established rules against concurrent surgeries that uh, put patients at risk. So hospitals and physician organizations should have policies in place to prevent things like this from happening. Well, and that was so interesting before we got on camera, you were saying, you know, this would have to go through several layers to get to the point that it did. But could these doctors now be facing malpractice charges? It's possible, yes, if uh, patients were injured during any one of these surgeries, uh, if they uh, lacked uh, informed consent or uh, if uh, a resident who wasn't qualified to perform one of the critical components of the surgery uh, injured the patient and the attending physician was responsible for that, then yes, they could be held responsible potentially. And it really took a lot of guts for someone like a whistleblower to come out and say this. Are there any repercussions for them because there's often times that they lose their job or they're looked down upon as well? There are protections in place for whistleblowers so we bring these important things to light. So it, it really has been just a crazy story to follow especially being that this was one of the most dangerous surgeries or the most complicated surgeries to be left in a room with just residents who are actually learning how to do the job. And we've learned from the names of the doctors being released. Some of them were, were older doctors. So these are people that had years and years of experience. When you go in, into open heart surgery, this is a very important decision you make on who's going to be your treating surgeon. Uh, you're supposed to be notified if the uh, residents will be involved in performing any components of the surgery, especially critical components, and whether the attending surgeon will uh, leave the room during the operation. It's alleged uh, in the settlement press release that these uh, attending surgeons were not present and did not notify patients during some of these critical components. What do you think happens from here? Uh, we'll have to see if the Texas Medical Board investigates and if any uh, plaintiffs uh, make any claims against some of the, phys the physicians involved. All right. All well, right. Thank you so much for being here and, and telling us more about this. I hope this does encourage other people to speak up if there is any wrongdoing happening wherever they're at. Absolutely. Well, Baylor College of Medicine did release a statement that says, in part, Baylor College of Medicine did not engage in conduct that violates any applicable federal law or regulation. It is also important to note that no patients were harmed. We do have this full statement over on our website, fox26houston.com.